Hi, it's Dave Burns with Green ID, and today I want to go over an important insulation aspect that everyone should be asking for. If you're thinking about adding more insulation in your attic, you need to be asking for baffles along the perimeter venting of the house. But even if you have 18 inches of insulation up in the attic, it's super well insulated, but you have this one defect, it's going to compromise the whole attic from a lack of baffles. And let's go into this video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at this wind washing. You can see the bird vent on the side and it just pushed the insulation three feet back from the perimeter of the house because the wind just blew it back. That's why we use baffles along these edges. You can see another one uh, four studs down where light is coming in. That's Another area that the wind blew the insulation just clear back and it's just bare drywall. And that's why we put baffles in to direct the airflow up this roof deck. So that's what can happen when you don't add baffles in the attic. You want to be making sure you ask the contractor to install baffles along the entire perimeter of the house where you have these bird vents. Also ask for your can lights, your non-IC rated can lights to be protected. This is going to prevent a fire. It's going to prevent the insulation from touching the can light. In older can lights, probably before 1990, they are not supposed to have insulation touching the surface of the can light or that thermocouple box because it'll tend to overheat. So after an insulation job, if you notice the light, your can light start to flicker on and off, it's that thermal couple doing its job. It's sensing that it's getting too hot and it's shutting the can light off to prevent a fire. So you wanna make sure you're protecting all the non-IC rated can lights. And you're asking for baffles on every job. While you're at it, you should also be asking for an insulation dam and the insulation to be applied on the attic hatch with a foam board or a thick couple sheets of foam board. A fiberglass bat will fall off that attic hatch really easily and the foam board gets glued onto the hatch so every time it comes on and off it's going to stay on permanently. This is Dave Burns with Green ID wishing you happy savings.